Hello, my name is Paul NoCode, your choice NoCode developer right here on the internet. Today, I want to show you all the tools that I use to build mobile applications. So I build mobile apps for clients and I build for myself, you know, and I always use certain tools, certain kind of tools to build um, apps in certain situations. And so that's what I want to show you, when to use these tools, what kind of tools you use, and how to go about picking the right tool for the right job when you're launching your next mobile application. So my first choice, um, I, okay, maybe I'm not doing this in, in order, but my first choice for me is Flutterflow. Yeah, Flutterflow is my very first choice because I have come to love Flutterflow personally because the team is very innovative. Yeah, a very, very innovative team. Uh, I've spoken to them personally and I've used this tool for a couple of projects and it's been very, very good. You know, week after week, month after month, this team, they're always innovating. Uh, before Flutterflow, I would usually use Adalo for my uh, no-code development, but ever since I'd found Flutterflow, Flutterflow has been my go-to tool because it enables me to build very, very clean interface. I must confess, Flutterflow is one tool that you can be very sure that if you know how to build um if you know how to build mobile mobile UI and you're experienced in building mobile UI, you're very sure that you'll be able to build very clean interface. And also, one of the reasons why I also love Flutterflow is that it gives you the choice to choose your backend framework without any extra um without without paying any extra fee. So back then when I used to build for Adalo or with Adalo, I would have to pay um some more I would have to pay more money if I was gonna use uh, a third party backend like Xano to build my application. But with Flutterflow I could use Xano, I could use Superbase, I could use um uh, Firebase, I can use any other tool, I can use BuildShip, I can use any other tool to launch my my app i could you know i could build any i could use any tool to to build my apps back end why i allow flutterflow to handle the front end of my website in fact with flutterflow you could actually host all your data somewhere it could be in a google spreadsheet it could be in Airtable. as long as you can call this data with your api you can actually build your own mobile applications with flutterflow and another reason why i love flutterflow is the fact that you can build for multiple multiple um uh, infrastructure at the same time you can build for mobile you can build a pwa you can be built for for desktop you can build for windows you know you can build for ios you can build you know you can build everything just with one two like for example if i'm building an app maybe i'm building it a, a a um, a to-do list application. I can build that same to-do list for Windows. I can build that same to-do list for iOS. I can build that same to-do list for um, Windows Mobile, um, for uh, Android. I could build that same to-do list for iOS Mobile. I can build that same to-do list as a PWA. So I can build it on Linux. I can build it anywhere. So it means I can build once on one platform and I can launch it anywhere I want to launch it. And also, if you check out their documentation, documentation is really robust. And really, really great. So they do, they they barely miss anything when you're checking out their documentation. As a person who's just getting started, you can check out their documentation and you can make sense of it and you can implement those stuff on their documentation and you can you know or you know off you go you can build whatever you intend to build so that's number one on my list number two on my list is glide i love glide so glide is not your regular no code builder you know flutterflow really focuses on anything that you can launch on the play store yeah yeah so do, though flutterflow is really desktop is, is also desktop focused but they are more mobile focused so i would advise that if you want to build a desktop application you use a different tool entirely but if you are building something that is more mobile focused then then uh, Flutterflow is your best tool. But for Glide, if you have anything that has to do with data, you know, like spreadsheet, editable sheet, anywhere, you're hosting data anywhere and you think, okay, I want to convert this data to something that I can relate with. I want to convert this data to something that makes sense to other people. Then Glide is your go-to application. See, Glide enables you to build internal software. So if you're building something internal for your team, you're trying to manage your in-house software, I would say, Glide is the best tool for you to use. You know, Glide enables you to convert anything, you know, anything that lives on the spreadsheet into a very, very cool interface that you can browse on your mobile phone. So let's say, for example, you are doing stock taking, for example, 
you're trying to, you know, you do feed management, you're trying to build a very, you're doing delivery services, real estate, you know, Glide just enable you to connect all the data, you know, from where data starts moving to where it stops moving and make sense of the entire data all by yourself. Say, for example, like this company called Group, Group Hub, Group Hub uh, um, uses Glide to manage their drivers. You know, it enables you to enables them to manage your driver. So you can actually pinpoint all of those things. But, you know, but if you're thinking of building an app that has that that that's going to be used by so many persons, Glide might not be your go to tool because it's going to get more expensive. So you can see some of the things that Glide can build feed management app, event management, customer portal, employee portal inventory portal so you see all these things that has to do with portal right that's what you have to do with glide so if you check out the pricing right you can check out the pricing 99 us dollars a month right for companies but for makers it can be as low as 49 49 dollars a month so you can see unlimited personal users 500 updates two editors one application so there are somehow there, there are better ways to dig deep into all of this pricing but trust me if you want to if you want to build an application where you want to use it for everybody and anybody then you're going to you you don't want to choose glide and also glide you can't really put it on the play store you can't really put it in an app store so glide is more internal app focused so if you're building an internal app for your company for a group of company for a group of people then glide is the go-to to another reason why i love glide is that it has a lot of templates and it's fairly easy to understand it's fairly easy to understand, especially if you're building something not too complex. But if you're building something very complex, you can reach out to the Glide team for help. They have a very cool forum that you can check out for help. And you can even hire an expert to build it for you. Right, so that's number two. Number three on my list is Bubble. So who would mention um, mo mobile mobile app application without Bubble? So Bubble is actually is the opposite of Glide. Why Glide is mobile focused. Bubble is actually web focused. So I would normally use Bubble to build a SaaS application, you know, application that will live on the web. But Bubble is also a cool tool for building mobile application thing is that you just need to use a wrapper so there's something called a mobile wrapper the wrapper just enables you to put it on the ios store or on the on the uh um android store so that you so that people will be able to download it to their you know to their phone but you would basically be doing the same thing just like the app will be doing on the web so you would use a wrapper and build a single page application right so when i mean a single page application all the pages is going to be on one single page and you're going to be showing and hiding based on activity on the application so bubble bubble is super cool because i think that their pricing is good it's affordable they have very affordable pricing they are cool if you're just getting started and bubble can take unlimited amount of users you know thousands and thousands of users without breaking that's one of the reasons why i love, love bubble i also love bubble because you can extend this functionality bubble have these things called plugins plugins that you can use to extend the bubble functionality as much as you can and also you can use third-party database for bubble Right, you do, Bubble is non-restricting. You don't have to restrict yourself with uh, the the database that comes with Bubble. You can use third-party database with your Bubble application, and you can extend it as much as you can. Right. So I'm going to go back to Glide for a few minutes. So another thing that I love about Glide. So this is me going back to Glide. Is that you can use you can you can call your data from almost anywhere. So you see, it allows data from Google Google, Google Sheet, Airtable. Um, uh, Microsoft Sheet, MongoDB, you know, any, um, most any database, any popular database that, that exists on the internet, Glide allows you to connect to it so that you can represent that data a whole lot better. So number four on my list is Tonkable. So if you think that you just want to do something and do it straightforward, right? Tonkable is the is the thing for you. You don't want to think about, oh God, how am I going to learn this thing? You don't want to think about how am I going to get things going? Tonkable is the thing for you. So Tonkable comes with prebuilt component, right? And you can just you can put all over your application and then you can use it. Tonkable will allow you to synchronize your app with Google Sheet, with Airtable, with Figma, you know, a lot and lots of other tools. So the thing I love about Tonkable is that it reduces the time to launch. 
right? Time to launch for Tunkable is very reduced because it comes with a lot of preview components that you can actually use. And also, Bob Tunkable, just like it says here, Tunkable allows you to, you know, connect with um, hardwares like for Bluetooth, web connectivity, third party hardwares that you can use on your application. But really, it's something that you really can check out. It's something that you want to check out. I've known Tunkable for a while, but I haven't used this used it a whole lot. So I think it's something that you can try, especially if you're just starting out because they have tribute components that you can use on your application. So that's Tunkable. And last on my list is Buildship. Buildship is a very cool tool. It's, you know, it's very, it's not very old on the block. You know, I know the founder, you know, they are, they are pretty close to me. So Buildship, it's not uh, the oldest two. It's the youngest among all of these tools that I just called, if you want to say like age. But it's very powerful. It's a very powerful no-code builder. Okay, so the thing about Buildship is that it's not going to help you to build the app itself, but it's going to help you connect your app to so many services on the internet, especially AI services. You know how difficult it is for you to build API, for you to connect to third-party data? Before Buildship, you would have to rely on uh, make.com in order for you to build third-party APIs. So, for example, you could build APIs that can generate test books. You could build APIs that can screenshot websites. You can build APIs that can update the data, that can update data on your application. You know, you can talk to your own data, irrespective of the data that you're using. For example, if you want to update a feed on when a user buy a course on your application, you can easily do that with Buildship. If you want to send an email when a user buy a course in your app, you can easily do that with Buildship. So, Buildship is a very cool tool that allows you to generate AI as fast as possible without breaking the bank and also you can see Buildship work with most of these popular database uh, most of the popular integration firebase stripe slack discord so for example uh, if you're building an application that helps people to uh, convert test to speech or speech to test Buildship can actually do it for you without writing a single line of code and it's, the good thing is that Buildship can connect to all of these tools you can connect Buildship to Flutterflow connect Buildship to Glide you can connect Buildship to Bubble you can connect Buildship to Tunkable all of it works with Buildship. So that's it for me. If you have a favorite no code tool for building a mobile application, please leave it in the comment section. I really want to check it out and I really want to know what you have in mind and what tool you have been using. If you're looking forward to building your mobile app MVP, you can definitely reach out to me using the link below. And if you want to learn how to build mobile application using no code, feel free to check out the link below. I have a couple of courses and probably when you're watching the video, this video, I must have shot all of those courses or probably uh, there will be a waiting list link below that you can use to join the waiting list because I'm building a very, very robust Boss list of courses and I'll teach you how to build mobile applications with no code. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a different video entirely. Bye.